how is it possible that Nigerian Super Falcons have appeared in every edition of the FIFA Women's World Cup but have never gone beyond the quarter-final stage? Can the Super Falcons channel our inner Eudabasi or Chevdami and break or equal the record this time around in the ninth edition of the FIFA Women's World Cup hosted in Australia and New Zealand scheduled to be played from the 20th of July to the 20th of August 2023? This will be the first FIFA Women's World Cup to have more than one host nation and to also be the first to feature 32 teams unlike the previous format which included 24 teams. This is the first time four African teams will be participating at the Women's World Cup. Remember, Nigeria qualified for this competition finishing fourth at the 2022 Women's African Cup of Nations, losing in the semi-finals to the host Morocco and in the third place match to Zambia. Nigeria Super Falcons ranked 40th in the world are currently in Group B alongside Canada ranked 7th, Australia ranked 10th and Republic of Ireland ranked 22nd in the world. Out of 8 appearances in this competition, the Super Falcons of Nigeria have played 26 games won 4 times, drawn 3 times and lost a whopping 19 times, the most by any team in the competition. We have also scored 20 goals in the process and considered 63 times, the highest so far by any team in the competition. Now it's about the money, listen to this very important information. For the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup, FIFA announced a total prize pool of $110 million, an $80 million increase from previous tournaments. Unlike before, prize money will be directly paid to players and national associations. This change was made due to reports of withheld and unpaid prize money in previous competitions. Although the prize money did not match the men's tournament, FIFA significantly increased it and over half will go directly to the players. Looking at the table on your screen, here's how much each player would earn in this competition and they will be paid directly from FIFA. Group stage finish, each player gets $30,000. Round of 16 finish, each player gets $60,000. Quarter final finish, each player gets $90,000. Fourth place, each player gets $165,000. Third place, each player gets $180,000. If you finish second, each player would get $195,000. And each player from the team that managed to win this competition will get a whopping $270,000 each directly from FIFA. I like the fact that the money will be paid directly to players from FIFA based on when they finish in the competition. So I expect this to serve as extra motivation to the players. And I will not be surprised if I see some upset in this competition based on this. Only Nigeria, USA, Germany, Japan, Brazil, Norway, and Sweden have been to every edition of the FIFA Women's World Cup. However, the Super Bowl of Nigeria best performance at this competition was at quarter finalist in 1999, followed by a round of 16 finish in 2019. In other editions, we failed to make it out of the group, and I hope this time around it is totally different. The Super Falcons of Nigeria will take on Canada in the opening group game on Friday, the 21st of July, by 3:30 a.m. Nigerian time. The next game against Coast Australia will be on Thursday, the 27th of July, by 11 a.m. Nigerian time. While the final group game against the Republic of Ireland will be played on Monday, the 31st of July, by 11 a.m. Nigerian time. Some players to watch out for include our veteran defender Onoma Ebi, who is a member of an Ellis club. She's one of five players appearing at six editions of the FIFA Women's World Cup. Our talented goalkeeper Chia Maka Nandozie, Osnachi Oale, Ashley Plumtree, Michelle Alozie, Tony Payne, Ayende, Uchebe, Echejini, Rashida Tajibade, Onumonu, Esther Okoronko, Desire Paranozie, and our star Gelazita Toshoala will be very instrumental for us in this competition. There's one thing I'm starting off. If you can work well together as a team, I believe we can make it out of our group, even though we are currently the lowest ranked team in Group B. We hope to score more goals this time around, unlike in 1991 and 2003 when Nigeria failed to score a single goal at the World Cup. We also hope to be solid in defence just like in 2011 when Nigeria also has the record for the least number of goals considered in the competition, considering only two goals. However, we were eliminated in the group stage. The coach around the world um, has a huge tax ahead of him. To be honest, most people expect us to just play three games and go home. However, in my opinion, I believe we can equal or break our record in this competition. And maybe in my dreams to become the first African team to win a senior FIFA World Cup. I'm excited we have young players like Rafia Timoro, Oluwa Tosindimei, Deborah Abiodun, Gift Monday, to name a few in this team. These players are also talented and I hope they also get some game time and show their worth in this competition. The first game against Canada will be crucial and avoiding the defeat will also be a positive start for the Super Falcons. With teamwork, determination and the right strategy, Nigeria has the right potential to advance from this group stage and make a mark in this competition. So basically, if you can score more goals and avoid conceding, we might just go the way in this competition. I'll be talking about all African teams in this competition, so follow me here for regular updates. Do you think Nigeria Super Falcons will get to the knockout stage in this competition? I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching and as always, have a good day guys.